All right. Now we're going to look at uh, just entering some data and calculating some summary statistics. Um, so what I have here, uh, I have some data. I'm not going to actually um, f find these percentiles, but instead I'm going to uh, just calculate, just get some summary statistics. So um, we've got data separated by semicolons, then ages of Academy Award winning um, best actors. So let's copy that. And I'm going to go to my, okay, I'm going to go over to my st tool. So here it is. Clear the data that's there. I'm going to paste in my data. Now it's smart enough to understand what to do with semicolons. It just ignores them. It treats them as spaces. And I'm going to click calculate now. That's all. And you can see the semicolons have now just disappeared. I'm going to click um, from this first menu summary statistics, and we can look at uh, some summaries, a summary of our our data. So, so for sample size, there's 29 numbers in our set, okay? The mean is the arithmetic mean, arithmetic average. It's the, you add up all your data, all the numbers, and you divide by 29. Uh, the median is that number such that half of the data is below it and half of, it, half of the data is above it. In our case, we have 29 values, so that means that um, we've got 14 of them below 47 and 14 of them above and 47 is that that fifth the, the 15th one, highest number in our set the mode would be what number is most common in our case there is no repeated values and so nothing is more common than anything else so the mode is none if there were more than if there was a mode it would be identified and if there are more than one mode they would all be identified if say for example there was five, if 33 showed up five times and 52 showed up five times, they would both be lifted, listed there. Uh, Mid-range is uh, the average between the maximum and the minimum values. So 77 and 81 are average together. They give you 47 and a half. Okay, now the minimum is the lowest number in our set. Uh, we have then 29.75 is the first quartile, Q1, which is to say that 25% of our data is is 29.75 or below. Q3 is the 75th percentile, also known as the third quartile, Q3. Uh, that says that 75% of my data is 67.5 or below. Then the maximum is 77, that's the highest value. The range is the difference between the maximum and minimum, so they're 59, 18 to 77, that's a span of 59. The IQR is interquartile range, that's the range from Q1 to Q3. It says 37.75, so there's a range, uh, that's how far the, quart the 25th and the 75th percentiles span. So the middle 50% spans a range of 37.75. Finally, variance and standard deviation, which measure the spread. I'll talk about them in more detail later, but um, variance is, uh, is it's roughly speaking the average squared deviation from the mean, and standard deviation is the square root of variance, but it also could be roughly interpreted as the average absolute value deviation from the mean. So my data, any random data on average is going to be about 19.675 from the mean of, of 48, roughly speaking. That's not exact, that's not precisely what the standard deviation is, but that's close enough for your understanding in, a, in an intro stats class, I think. So anyway, that's showing summary stats from a, um, or from a small set of data. Okay, that's all I wanted to show right now. Bye.